I don't, I don't. Is there any right decision in this? Because this dude don't seem that bad, but. It's an honor to have you here, sir. Hi. Just as you gave life to father, he gave life to many of us. Sorry, just gonna do some hacking. I don't know if I should reconsider. Alex Kidder's presence continues to never deal. At first, I thought they were merely intimidated by his or even afraid of his general being. Kellogg is, after all, a killer. But as I've continued to witness their actions, gaze their sidelong glances, I've detected something else, something I probably should have anticipated jealousy. Cyborg, really, and the benefits he has received cannot be denied. But really, the scientists here could not care less about enhanced reflections or greater comet. Something more practical, more prominent. His enhanced life expectancy. Just how long will Kellogg live if he passes naturally, however? He's already more than 100 years old, older certainly than any other human in the comic. His complete physiology has been altered, perhaps he'll make it to 150, maybe even 200. Economic for science has evolved, and again, sometimes it's something the weight continues. So what that means, I'm not sure. Will we actually meet? Was this all for nothing? No, nothing. I will have learned valuable things about myself. My past, either way, I cannot afford to let motion get in the way. I must simply observe and record. I'm told Kellogg is an awful line. Sorry, I find myself thinking of Dr. Walker. He had such high hopes for Kellogg, such faith in the implants. I still got unlimited in project, but I know where it would have led us. Walker was never shy about his goals, and too many others were starting to. I believe I was justified. The Institute is about preserving humanity, not some bizarre. Now I'm at a tough situation. Should I wouldn't I... be here if not for your son? Sean, can we talk about this? Have you reconsidered your decision? Forget it. Never mind. I see. Something tells me this isn't... 
things aren't as great as he would like me to think like I don't know like he's making it seem like hey you know Ha! I'm. You know what? Broken. I. I... I guess I kind of have to. No. Guess I have to work on my son, right? If I'm gonna talk to this Patriot person. Right? No? Like, is there no other way? What is, what do I do? I don't know what to do. I guess I gotta join the institute? Alright, let's do this. I don't know what to do. I didn't really want to join them, but... 
Okay, Papa. Useless. Sean, can we talk about this? Have you reconsidered your decision? I changed my mind. I'll work with you. Well, that's good to hear. All right, then. The Institute is now your home as much as it is mine. Please take some time, get to know it. Meet the people you'll be working with. You'll want to introduce yourself to the division heads. Dr. Fillmore in facilities. Dr. Ao in SRB. Dr. Holdren in bioscience. And finally, Dr. Lee in advanced systems. They've all been notified of your arrival, of course. Meet them, and then we'll discuss what comes next. Okay. Okay, here we go. Almost done. Just need to tighten up this primary drive servo. That's the third primary drive. Is it true that only something on 77 would be discontinued? Okay, here we go. Hey, it's me. So you're the one who sent the encrypted message. How did you even do that? I wasn't sure anyone on the surface would have a chance to crack Trinity. You know, the encryption algorithm. I am sorry, sir, but that supplement is no longer available. A friend named Tinker Tom cracked your encryption. He must have had some serious hardware to pull that off. Wow, your message was only one word. Friend. What did you mean by that? The railroad's in the business of helping synths, too. That makes us friends. What? The railroad? As in THE railroad? I kept sending synths to the surface hoping someone would help them. I hoped the railroad got to some of them, but I never knew for certain. Why are you helping synths? At first, I just wanted to see if I could get away with it. It was a challenge, you, you know? But then I realized the synths are really just like us. Except without any freedom, I decided to help the ones that wanted to escape, so they can have a better life. How did you help Synths escape? Through hacking. The departments focus their best talents on hard science. Why waste time on terminal security, right? The SRB is the exception, and unfortunately, they control which Synths go to the surface. But a forged work order from, let's say, bioscience can get a hand-picked Synth on surface detail. And it turns out the railroad was waiting for them. Wow. You saved a lot of synths. So much to take in. But wait, with you in the picture, I have this idea to rescue a lot of synths at once. But we'll need help. Where's he working now? Right, let's go to the West Atrium. Probably best to talk about something else right now. You know my father thinks it's a living hell on the surface. But that can't be right. Heck, you look positively normal to me. Uh, no offense. I'm not sure if we could ever oh, make the surface okay. actually a decent place to live. But that doesn't mean we shouldn't at least try to help, you know? This place is... Sir, do you require something? It's okay, Z1. He's a friend. He's with the railroad. Meeting here is dangerous. And you bring a stranger. You. How do I know we can trust you? Because the members of the railroad have dedicated their lives to fight for your freedom. I... I thought only Mr. Benet cared. But your friends actually fight for us? That's what the railroad does, Z1. He's from the surface. I've never met another human willing to help. But, sir, we must make this quick. Right now, how many synths want to escape, Z1? The ones I know for certain? Thirteen. That'll take forever. Let's free those thirteen all in one go. I would do anything for my people. But how do we get them to the teleporter? It's no good. 
The old maintenance tunnels that lead there are always sealed. By the SRB. Hmm. If I can find a way to open those doors, could you get your sense to the teleporter room? Yes. We'll talk later. Someplace more secure. Just... Man. Liam. Just a few high security doors, right? Controlled by cutting edge SRB security tech. Yeah. A head on hack is the sucker play. So we go at them sideways. You're willing to help, right? I can't do this alone. Of course I'll help you. Our core security architecture hasn't fundamentally changed from the old CIT days. The original security program was called Code Defender. Revolutionary stuff. We still have terminals running version 1, mothballed in storage. With some persuasion, I can get an old terminal to interface with the new security terminals. Enough to open doors, at least. Problem is, I can't even crack version 1. So I need a good old-fashioned username and a password. And that's nowhere to be found in the Institute. But if you could get me a pre-war admin password from the surface, I could log right in. I'll find it for you. That's great. Unfortunately, the obvious place to look won't work. The CIT ruins were picked clean years ago, but some of the admins had to live off campus. Ask your friends in the railroad. I need those login credentials. Uh, okay, can I just fast travel there? Anyway, y'all, I'm going to save it here. I want to thank you guys for watching this session. Uh, i got to figure out where I'm going with this. Um, I hope you guys have attached to the rest of the day. Stay tuned for more scenes for my next episode.